New at 10, a real life Grinch caught on camera taking what is believed to be a donation package from an East Valley horse rescue. Just days after the nonprofit noticed that they were missing a week's worth of mail. Volunteers tell Team 12's Adriana Lawyer they're puzzled as to why someone would be targeting them. Nestled in the middle of Gilbert for 27 years, Wild Horse Ranch Rescue has been a beacon of hope for neglected, retired, and surrendered horses. Hi, sweet boy. Volunteers like Brandy Aguilar care for the 22 horses, two pigs, several cats, and a rooster that live near Warner and Lindsay Roads. Thank you so much. But it is through the power of donations that they can give peace and comfort to dozens of animals every year. And during the holiday season, we have a lot of folks that will send gifts, um, food, toys, um, fly masks to our horses, all kinds of things, along with money donations. But now someone has put a dent on the much needed help. A man pulling up to the property on December 19th at around 7 p.m. when... And our cameras located above there uh, caught him getting out of the car, grabbing a golf club and starting to walk away as he looked up and it looks like he may have seen the camera. I don't know if he did, but that's what it appeared. Turned back and um, the camera shut off right after it looked like he was putting the golf club back. Brandy believes the man might have been headed for this old Bronco when he noticed the security camera that was installed after a volunteer's car was broken into last July. That's only happened once in the 27 years that we've been in existence. Although the camera only shoots in 10 second increments, it later caught the man walking back to his car with something in his hands. We believe that he may have taken something from our mailbox here and more than likely it was a donation for our animals. She believes that because five days prior to the incident, the rescue had not received any mail. Which pretty abnormal for this time of year, being that it's the holidays and lots of people sending the animals gifts. The rescue calling police and filing a report with the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. While that plays out, they hope whoever did this doesn't come back again. We're a nonprofit organization, so to take from our facility is, is heartbreaking. The rescue is now asking the public to send anything they had planned to donate to their P.O. box. You can find those details on our website on 12news.com. In Gilbert, Adriana Loya, 12 News.